Hey there everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Undertale. So now we're back in the True Lab. Let's figure out what was going on. Can't go through there. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you can read. Power room. Oh, this is like... Like, this is where all the... The electricity starter is just like Norman's gym from Pokemon. It's just, I'm gonna beat you up with strength. Oh, this door's red. Can't go there. Where am I supposed to go? Buy chips for 25G? Okay. You didn't have enough gold. Oh, well, rip. I think guess I gotta go this way. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone. Hmm. I don't know who's doing this one. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then... Freedom might be closer than we all thought. Entry number nine. Wait, nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them back the dust for their funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Is that. That was six, wasn't it? Yeah, so this is entry six. What happened to seven and eight? some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Is this one also sticky? Sticky. Yeah, they're all sticky. Okay. You turned on the sink. Turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. Ugh. Ugh. What? Ugh. Yikes, what are you? Blank drew near. It's glitching. You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Oh, 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 hey, chill, 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 chill. I don't know what y'all doing, but chill. But nobody came. Oh, they're called memory heads. Refuse to join the fun? I'm gonna just not move. All a creepy look in. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Okay. You won. You earned zero EXP and zero gold. What the hell? Red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it in your keychain. Thanks. There's a note on the ground. Can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. That's all. Well, thanks. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Yeah, no duh. Um, so. Okay, so I'm guessing those monsters have the. the things we need to get around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that red one lit up now. Now that the red one lit up. Yes. Okay, I'm going here now. Entry number 12. Where are these entries? Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Oh. It's an empty dog food bowl. It seems like a comfy bed. You could probably climb into it if you were left to the left of it. Okay. It's a bed. It's a bed. It's a fake plant. There's something under the sheets. Check it out. Oh, hey, it's the yellow key. Okay. Nice. It's a bed. It's a bed. I'm just checking all these things because doing the sink 
did the thing. Can I climb into this bed? Just a regular suspicious bed now. <laughs> Alright, well, I said I can climb into this one. Something gonna happen? I don't want to move. Get your white hand penis away from me. Okay. Oh. Thank you? Okay. That was strange. I want to see if it does it again. Are you a ghost? Like, are you a mom ghost? Is that what's going on here? Like, I thought it was going to try to kill me, and this hand just, like, shoots down and just covers me and pets me on the head. Thank you. I am a good human. And by me, I mean Frisk. And by good human, I mean a tomb, not me. I'm a terrible human. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners? Okay. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore and returned the vessels back to his garden. And I called all of the families and told them that everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. I got a feeling it all went wrong. No, 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 no. Yep, it, it went wrong. You never announce your findings that early. Science rule number one. Oh, God. It's getting harder to walk the closer I get. Uh, okay, tentacle dude's gone. There's a key lying in the bathtub. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna walk away from that now. Whoa. I can't get through there. Hmm. I don't think I have the yellow key, do I? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets. Oh yeah, this is the yellow one. I have this one. Key fits perfectly into the slot. Nice. There's a bunch of VHSs. And it seems like they're mostly some kind of cartoon. There are a bunch of VHSs. Seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. They seem to be all alphabetized, save for a few stray. Sticky ones? I don't even want to know why they're sticky. Before. I've been researching humans to see if I can find anything about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in specific order. Will you watch one? Let's go, tape one. Oops. Gory, wake up. Mm hmm? Oh, that was Toriel. Hmm, what is it, dear? Uh. Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shush, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is... <sighs> Edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be... A Mameranian. Mm. <laughs> you 
you sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous momedian. Well, I'm going to bed. Oh crap. Wrong button. I'd say press the windows key. Hey, come on, Tori, that was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. I'm I'm hoping so, because I don't need to see uh King Dreamer in his birthday suit. Okay, Atum, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Well, first of all, I'm Atum. I don't remember doing this video. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again. Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> that must have been their first kid. Howdy, Atum. Smile for the camera. Wait, howdy? <laughs> this time I got you. I left the lens cap on, on purpose. <gasps> Menacing lens cap feature. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, I remember. When we tried to make the butterscotch pie for dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. We accidentally put in butter cups instead. <laughs> yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Uh, well, take four is logically the next one to go. I... I don't like this idea, Tomb. What? N no, I'm not... Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Atum. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Oh. So when the first kid died and then Azrael took the soul... Hmm. Atum, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Oh, is that Toriel? A tomb, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. A tomb. You have to stay determined. Oh, that's the line! You cannot give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst. A tomb, please. Wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I. I. No, I said. I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? You just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? So the first human's death was actually planned. Oh. Uh. Starman. It smells like sweet lemons. It's like a Shiren and... Oh god, yikes. What are you, like a mold big and a Shiren and the muscular horse guy? Lemon bread. Uh, let's unhug you, I guess? You let lemon bread be. Lemon bread's teeth shake. What? <laughs> Scream. Screamed out, but nobody came. Now buddy, you need some fixed teeth though. Okay, so screaming and a hugging didn't do it. Hum? You hum a familiar tune. Home bread spotty shakes. And I die. Uh, now I 
gotta do it again. Our fate rests upon you. Blah 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 blah. I saved here. Did I get the thing? Yes. So downstairs. I'll meet you back over at Lemon Bread. You called for help. Nobody came. Ah. Flex? You flexed your arm. I remember it seems to remember something. I don't know what voice I should give you. You're like some weird fusion of... Oh, the monsters! Could this be goodbye? You won. You earned zero XP and zero gold. Oh, thank God. She's gone. Yeah, that's like Shiren. Which is a monster I don't think I've fought in the game. Except for maybe one time. Chiron, Moldbig, and Aaron, I think his name, or Aaron, the flexing one, the flexing horse. DT extraction machine, status inactive. Determination extraction machine? And how else do they inject, uh... It's too dark to see near walls. I hear the things lighting up. Some kind of cold rectangular object. Awesome. The green feet gets, fits perfectly. Alright, so obviously we can't do anything in here right now. Let's try the other end of the hallway. Dog salad to heal. Alright, whatever. I got noodles and dog salad. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Oh, so this is Elphus doing these. Except to ask me when I'm gonna finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. And we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Yeah, AC units. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. Sure. What? Oh. It's a... Big doggo? the amalgamate um let's see how am I gonna do this um back in it call the amalgamate it bounces towards you flecking a strange liquid from an orifice um oh doggo no doggo bad doggo don't throw things at me amalgamate is hovering close looking for affection cut it you pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly. Then it calms down. It rests quietly on your left for a moment. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Bad doggo. No crawling on walls. Hey. Hey. I know you like me, but that doesn't mean you get to hit me. Amalgamate is striking the wall with its claws. Let's play. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The amalgamate brings it back to you. Probably. Repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body onto you. Chill, 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 chill. Enough with the arrows. Amalgamate is switching affectionately. You pet the Amalgamate. It starts to generate your stage one happiness froth. Oh god, it's rocket dog. Ow. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, no, 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 no. Why, rocket dog? Not this time, doggo. You pet the dogs decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. Aw, oh, this is just five doggos. Endogeny is contended. Ah. 
All right, Endogeny, you killed me like seven times. That's that's enough. Thank you. All right, so yeah, I got this key. Put this one back in. Oh. The refrigerator. It's empty. Entry number 19. The families keep calling to ask me when everyone's coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. Did that one just move? Oh god, it is. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty? Why is it moving? Entry number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now my element. The refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. The refrigerator. It's empty. Oh, no you weren't. Oh! It's so cold. Those are... Vegetoids? This is actually kind of depressing. Wait, isn't this the, 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 um, what's his name? Um, I think his name was Snowdrake? The, the dad. Or, not the dad, the kid. Who was like, my mom disappeared. I, is this his mom? Oh, man, that's not actually that fun anymore. Uh, if that's the case, I know they like jokes. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Yeah, this gotta be his mom. Uh-huh. I... remember. It's so cold. Told a bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. <laughs> Thank you. Because this isn't creepy at all. He told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. You won. I didn't have the chance to spare her. Jesus. Blue key. Awesome. Blue key. <laughs> oh, naps the blue. Where you at, man? We haven't seen you in a minute. This fridge still scares me. It's shaking on its own for no apparent reason. Okay, so where does the blue key go? This, this was, uh... We saw the yellow and the green. There was nothing over there by the fridges. Did I miss a room somewhere? I guess I did. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the times come. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then... What about something that's neither human nor monster? Golden flowers. Flowey? Is this where Flowey was made? Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessels are a failure. Doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. So this is where Flowey came from, huh? Hall of Mirrors. What the? What? Ooh. Nightmare fuel. Um. Bird. What do I even do with you? I'm like... You're actually taking up... 
the entire screen. I'm not even sure you're in astigmatism, I think. That's what you were called. I, I really can't tell what else you are. <laughs> you're a hot mess. Holy sweet Jesus, are you ugly. Oh my god. I am sorry. Yeah, no, I did not mean to be mean to you. I, I did not mean to pick on you like that. But, uh, we're gonna pick on. It seemed effective. Okay, that works. What? On me? Butterflies are making this person hurt. I mean, cleaning isn't anything to do with whatever this is. Justify, I guess? You did something mysterious? Blank recognizes it has more to... So one of these has to be a final frog, it, right? Choice? Oh, hey, Jesus, butterfly head man. Oh, stop with the butterflies. You kneel and pray for safety. Reaper bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit. Courage. What? Why are you just throwing your heads at me? Is that a thing you can do? Reaper bird seems placated. I'm just gonna mercy you right on out of here. I don't like that. The blue key goes here. Awesome! That's all the keys, right? Did I just see that whole blanket move down? I'll have to play that again in slow motion just to see what what in the world just happened there because that was a little unsettling. Yep, all the doors, all the things are powered up. Let's save here. Go in. Needs to be turned off. Well, I guess there's no power here yet. Turn it on? Yes. Oh, what? Oh, God. Um. No. I just helped you guys. Get away from me. Hey, s stop. I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway, the power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you, but, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back, but that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried that I would be too afraid to tell the truth, that I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I... I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Esquire asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power called Determination. I injected it into monsters so that their souls would last after death, but the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take on concentrations of Determination. Their bodies started to melt and I lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into... those... Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I had done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now... Now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on. I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. 
Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Wow. I'm proud of you, Alphys. It, it takes a lot to stand up after you know you've made, like, a massive screw- Whoa. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Ascor yet, but because I, I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. A flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder. What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? The fact that it's Flowey's face is mildly disturbing. Entry number 18. The flower's gone. Oh god, it is Flowey. Oh dear god, that's Flowey. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before a tomb are you there it's been a long time hasn't it but you've done well thanks to you everything has fallen into place the tomb see you soon what Whoa. The door jams shut with vines. Okay. We're going to leave the episode off here, guys. It's been a very long episode. You know, we did the entire True Lab. I thought I was going to split it up into sections. I died a few times in there, but I just did it all in one take. So, next episode, we should be taking on the finale of Let's Play Undertale with a true pacifist ending. So I will catch you all here next time, guys. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. That way you already know when I drop a brand new episode. And I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.